Welcome, my dearest students, to, uh, bio to Biology in Grade 10. This is Ms. Vera al -Ghishan. I will be teaching you biology for this year. As you know, uh, when you took last year about physical science, that science in general uh, can be divided into three main subjects, which is biology, chemistry, and physics. This year, you will, be teach you will be studying biology courses with me. This course will introduce you to the biology, which is meaning the study of uh, life, the uh, life science, which is all about living organism, how do they, how their body work, how do their body system work. So this is, uh, this is gonna be inshallah an interesting year for you. When we talk about biology, we're talking about the study of living things, the study of uh, living microorganisms or organisms, including a human. So. This year, inshallah, we will be talking about uh, the course uh, in details. We will start uh, talking about, first of all, the science of biology. What does biology mean? Now, your biology book will be about 27 uh, chapters. These 27 chapters will be included in a specific units. We will go through them now to, be, to have a wonderful idea about our, uh, our uh, course for this year. So first we will start with unit one. Unit one will talk about the nature of the of life. I will talk about the living organism, starting with the science of biology. What does it mean? What is science? What does it mean? What is uh, the technology that we use to identify uh, to identify the characteristic about biology? Then we will go to the content of the uh, science in all. We will talk briefly about chemistry, briefly about biology. How do they, these courses in, uh, curriculum together with other types of uh, uh, courses like bio, like uh, math or uh, physics then we will talk about the pattern of life this will be discussed by the first unit of the uh, nature of life which is the science of biology uh, this will be included in chapter one then we will go to chapter two in chapter two we'll, we'll go to the first branch of biology which is we all go together and reach to uh, chemistry the chemistry of life we uh, in, in chemistry, we will talk about the nature of matter that can be found in uh, in biology. Meaning, if uh, when we're talking about the uh, carbon cycle, about the uh, properties of water, about the chemical reactions and enzymes that found inside the human body, these things all together related to what related to chemistry and how it's bound in biology. In, in biology, these will be in chapter two. Then we will have a skip to chapter eight. Chapter 8, we will go through uh, more details about the cell structure and function. You can find it in Chapter 8. This one, we will talk about the uh, basic unit of our body, which is uh, uh, for any living organism, which is cell. For each cell, we have a specific structure and function to each one of them. This will be found in Unit 3, called Cell Structure and Function. Uh, this particular... Uh, Unit, we will talk about life in general, the structure, how you can make a model of cells. We will try to make a model of cells and the transportation of material into and out of the cell. Whenever we are talking about the cells, we are talking about uh, materials going in and out of the cells. So we need to understand that we have some type what we call homostasis. Homostasis means to have balance between our equilibrium between materials going in of the into the body or out from the body. Okay, these will be found in chapter 8, continuing with chapter 9, which is having a, a small shift between uh, animal cells to uh, plant cell. We'll talk about uh, photosynthesis. All, you know, all of you know that photosynthesis happened in where? In plant cell, yes. And uh, it's used to have a type or a source of energy. This energy has a process, will go through a process. This process called photosynthesis that happened inside the plant, the leaves of the plant. The reverse one is in chapter 10, which we're discussing the cellular respiration, which is the uh, the, uh, the other the process, which is the uh, contrast of uh, photosynthesis. And we were talking the process of the cellular respiration in details. And furthermore, we will talk about other type of procedures, which is called fermentation. Fermentation in details will be discussed in chapter 10. Okay, then. We will go further and to reach to chapter 11. Chapter 11 will talk more 
and more about uh, genetics and we will reach to this gene or the cell growth and division how why the cell goes through division why the cell has the capability to grow to divide and to reproduce to have that we have will go through the process in detail in details about the cell division and regulation in cell cycle that means that each cell has to have a specific function this function related to their structure that's called cell differentiation differentiation mean that each one of them is different from the other. It's called the regulation of the cell cycle. Regulation of cell cycle, this we will go through in chapter 11. After that, we will be shifting back to going to chapter 3. Chapter 3 goes into other units called ecology. Ecology means the study of the environment related to the air, to the, to the land, uh, to the chemistry of the land. So we will be shifting to ecology. First, we will start with the biosphere. We will talk about the global system, the climate, the weather and life in there, the biosphere, biosystem, and we will go also and discuss about the uh, aquatic uh, system and uh, how it's related to water, gas, uh, land, and uh, living organisms living in all three of them. But after that, after chapter three and four, talking about ecosystem and uh, and the biosphere, we will relate this to how it affects the population in general, uh, in, uh, the human population, animal population, and the plants, how this plants and animal population can be affected by, uh, by human interaction or a human population growth. After that, we will continue with chapter six to talk about communication and ecosystem dynamic and how uh, humans and global change, how can humans in general can affect the, uh, uh, the measurement and the responding to change and the cause and effect of any global change. After that, we will shift back to chapter 12. Chapter 12, now we are more about genetics, but uh, we will go through uh, to introduce it to genetics. We will start with Mendel and applying Mendel principles. What is the principle of uh, Mendelian inheritance uh, and non-Mendelian inheritance? We will talk about meiosis and mitosis, the structure of DNA, RNA, the process about DNA and RNA, uh, uh, transcription, translation, protein synthesis, uh, how a human genetics is disordered, and the study of the human genome in details. Uh, then at the end we will talk about the, which is the last uh, the last units will talk about the discovery of life which is we'll talk about viruses plant structure and function animal structure and function and eventually humans body system in details uh, these ones they will go through and them in details we will have assessment three type of assessment a1 a2 in semester one, then A3, A4 in semester two, we'll have end of term exam in the first semester and end of term exam in the last semester. Uh, I will wish you all of the best and all of the luck. Inshallah, we will have a wonderful year together. And uh, we will talk about more about the problems that can uh, happen in biology and the uh, solution that can be found in uh, biology uh, using lab uh, experiments uh, deal with them. Uh, we will have a wonderful year together. Thank you so much for listening. This is Vera and see you inshallah. Ala khair.